Man, volume one being no, crazy, man. Why was it important to score with a volume? Go in with a volume two. Yeah, I'm really kind of like uh, aiming to do like a little series for it. Okay. So the Connect Four series is actually it, it is an us. So it will return, you know what I mean? But yeah, pretty much all the people was. I feel that man, we live on the back streets with your girl Cole, man. We got my family in this bitch, man. It's going down, man. Let the streets know who he is, where he's from, and what you got coming if you don't mind. Uh, shit, I'm Jay Tomlin, I'm on once again, I'm on Wall Street, baby. Uh, a lot of fucking music and shit is on the way, like I said last time. Uh, I, I said I've been being consistent, I've been consistent, very Big consistent facts. since that last time. I've been Big here. facts. Uh, but yeah, shit, the move on Wall Street is like the next major, like, deal I got going on. Okay. That's, that's, that's my baby right there. Yeah. Okay, the move for Wall Street, that's the, is that gonna be the album? Or are you pushing that as an album or are you gonna keep yeah, it mixed? I, I guess you can call it an album. Okay. That's, that's how I'm planning to roll it out. Okay, man, you've been doing your thing, shit, man. This year has really been a heavy year. You've been looking, you know, with different, collabing with different people, man. You've been performing crazy shows, man. What was the highlight of the year so far for you? The highlight? Uh, no bullshit. I mean, like, some people, is like, two things. Two, okay. things, two things, two things. Um, we were actually fucking, we were like doing some shit or whatnot. We was at this fucking, um, what was it? Taco Cabana. Yeah, Taco yeah, 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 yeah. And like, this guy ran up on me, bro. And like, he was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like some fan shit. And to me, like, yeah. like hey, bro, I ain't never really had no shit like that. Okay. <laughs> so like, to me, that shit right there was like crazy. Like, mind blowing, like, pfft. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To the point like, like Did you get a picture? Did y'all exchange? We ain't, we ain't do none of that. Okay. He had he had, uh, he had bought some merchandise from him. So oh, like, no. okay. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, it's just the fact that he ran up, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, like I fuck with your music, bro. I didn't know who he was. That's Woo, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, recognition or whatever. Okay. That shit's crazy to me. Okay. Yeah. And the other one was the fact that like nigga, I get to open up my little Fucking distribution accounts or whatnot. Okay. I see there's fucking money in that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So this shit is it's all for a reason now, nigga. And I see it. the reason. I you feel know, it. it's money. And I'm feel actually it. making money, my nigga. I feel that DJ Tona, man, live on the back streets, man. Talk about them splash numbers, man. They've been doing crazy too, man. Splash was killer. I said it was because, like, I don't know, like, I'm, I kind of, like, push forward, like, we push past it. Like, you know, some people that might be, like, still the thing or whatnot, but I'm, like, in a constant motion. Why did you push forward? Why didn't you uh, capitalize on Because I know you was going cra crazy as numbers. I know you was going your streams every I, week. I, I, I can't even lie to you. That was more of, I would call it, an industry song. Mm. So I didn't. It was like, I okay, I, I, I wanted to do it, you know, if people know, like, yeah, I can do, do that. that, you know what I'm saying, but like, yeah, bro, whatever, and I feel like me just completely standing on that move right there, was like, oh, okay, he's in that box, don't put me in that box, okay. you know but just know that, like, if, I, if you need, if y'all niggas need me over there, it's like, it's like some, I guess, uh, some money oh, over there for me to get or whatever, oh, holla at me, I can do that, but I'm down here chilling though, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you something, Kefo. How proud are you as far as the growth seeing him from his last first interview, you know, shit back when we first got our start to now seeing him, you know, being more bubbly, outspoken, doing shows. How proud are you of the growth? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like, like I'm super proud. I ain't gonna lie. Every day I wake up stoked with, with this new information. Okay. Like, or it's uh, him just coming at me like, oh, this is what we finna do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because now it's like, he, when he first started this run, he he sparked the fire, and then like the fire keep going, mm. it keeps going, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Mm. In times when we feel like like all right, bro, it's getting kind of boring, like we need to figure some more shit out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him, yeah. period, because I like, feel that so. most people get restless. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. even in a short amount of time, like just that's what I was saying. Lot, a lot of artists they hear shit and then they be like, oh right, damn, like I need to take a break. He not like that. You know what I'm saying? Why, why? It is really because I know what it is that I want to do in this shit, and I know that, you know what I'm saying, in order for me to do it, you gotta mm -hmm. just kind of keep going. And like, I always tell a lot of people, like, food, you know what I'm saying? The, the people that are immediately around you may not be the people that need to, like, you know what I'm saying, like, hear your message or hear what it is that you're saying. They might not be able to hear you. 
you know what I'm saying? Or oh, understanding. So, you know what I'm saying? Just keep going and reach the people that actually care about that shit. Yeah. Once you get to them, like, this longevity there. Longevity. So get to them, you know what I'm saying? Man, connect for a while, you too, man. Why connect for a while? Why that name? Uh, uh, the people, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the homie, shout out to the twins, uh, J and D. Okay. Uh, they actually from the hood, you know what I'm okay. saying? So, shout them out, okay. okay. The four had connected, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ain't no other way to put that one, you know what I'm saying? So, that was it right there. They did all the production on both tapes. Oh, no, shit. Dope. Down, shit, uh, down to like editing the artwork for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, Janae had did the fucking, she did the picture for me on the second one. Uh, mm. But Jay actually did the picture for the first one. He edited both of them for me. Mm. So, it, it was all in house. Why was that important to keep it in house versus going outside of what, uh, you know, where you from? Like, shit, how this shit came to play, bro. And like the way the music got turned out. Down to the title and everything, it became, it's almost like a franchise, I would say. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I can't let it, like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga from Taco, you know, Taco Bell, come yeah. sit in my meeting and we got Chick fil A going on. You know what I mean? I got that. Do you have a favorite song off the project that you recorded? That, like, one that stand out to you? On um, which one? On um, what, Volume 2? Volume 2, I really like the intro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, it taps into what I was just speaking about, about, about me making money. And, right. You know, and it, People, oh man, you know, support this, blah, 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 blah. It's like, nigga, like, nigga's not screaming from the fucking mountaintops of my name, you know what I'm saying? But I look at that account and it's enough money to go buy cigarettes. I can go buy a fucking page. Nah, nah, oh, okay. I'm telling you this about the. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you only choose to work with two artists like God, Body, and Honey Green? Why did you just chose those two artists? Um, um, me and Honey Green, we kind of got this little thing, we kind of like tied in right now, so we trying to get some shit going. So uh, I didn't okay. have to click, you know, with that. Uh, shit, of course, you know, he, he's played like I am, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And shit, God body is fucking amazing. He's God body. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you looking to uh, network, I mean, collab with uh, more people, more artists, or are you just keeping it solely in house with the people that you already know? Oh, uh, nah. Um, the, the Wolf, I'm, I'm gonna do some reach and I, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying, do no names or nothing as of right now. Right. We're gonna wait till everything is like, you know, set in stone. And I guess release the track list and let y'all see it. But uh, I'm, I'm working with a few people on that. Okay, so okay. Shout out to y'all. Um, okay, man. Talk about money, man. A lot of people kind of slept on that track. It was a huge track, man. You linked up with the OG T boy. Talk about that track a little bit. Crazy shit. I recorded that track the same uh, the same day I recorded Splash. And it was like, I think another one that I got, actually still have. Also, yeah. You know, and, um, um, I recorded it and I didn't have a place for it at the time. We came around, bro. I don't know. I'm, I was like rapping and shit. And, uh, bro, I actually reached out and he was talking about collabing and whatnot. So I'm like, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? We can do that. Yeah. So I instantly just, just come through shit that I, you know, like these that I had mm -hmm. or little concerts that I had. And I don't know, when I heard that one, I heard his voice. I was like, oh yeah, bro. Yeah. He's gonna do the shit on that and he did his And was he receptive to it? Like, was he like, hell yeah, I get on it? He was. Was he when you first heard the track? Was it something that he liked? Uh, I played two beats. Okay. I played two beats, and that's the one he like chose up on. Like, that's the one. Okay. And it was like, okay, that's the one I heard you on. Anyways, I just had this one over here for like some shit. Yeah, like some just in case shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you were gonna fuck with this one. All right, we got this one. You know what I'm saying? But Eric was the one he chose up on. It was perfect. Okay. Shout out to you for that one, bro. Man, yeah. shout out OGT boy, man, Jay Tony, you doing your thing, man. The style, man, we don't see nothing like it, man. Talk about the style from the head to the toe, man. Get a street something. Oh, man, not to my shoes. Ain't nothing like these new wave niggas. And that's hey, that's just big facts, though. Like, I don't know. Thanks. I don't know, man. It's just that shit, something that should be weird to me, bro. What you mean? Like, it, it's just weird. Like, me growing up or just like coming up under the people I came up around is like as far as like my family, you know, influences and shit like that. Like nigga they you know, like, for the side out of that shit, like nigga, that shit weird. You niggas borderline punks and like oh man, just shit like that, fool and it's like bro <laughs> Do you man. embrace that style or you let people be them? Bro, yeah, be you as long as you're not pushing it on me or nothing like right. that, you okay. know what I'm saying? And like I always say, bro, everything isn't for everybody. Just because like I don't necessarily like it. You went out your way to do it or whatever, food, so I gotta respect it. You know what I'm saying? Because you did nothing at all. You know, but you did something for yourself. Cool, I respect I, it. I respect but I don't it. necessarily like it. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? So it, 
Yeah, that's it, you know. I feel it, I feel it. Northside, get the money, man. Talk about the brand, the, the whole team, man. Y'all pushing big, man. I Actually, I was at a show the other day, and uh, it was a guy, light-skinned guy with long dreads, had one of y'all shirts on, man. So y'all everywhere, man. So, man, talk about the brand. Light-skinned, long dreads. He used to be at those Thursdays. I don't know his name, though. He light-skinned it. Long dreads, kind of old-school guy. Shit, he was at those Thursdays, dude. I mean, yeah, the black and white. I don't know. We did numbers. We did, we, did, we, did, we did numbers right there, too. You know what I'm saying? We're hustling. <laughs> <laughs> we, we definitely hustling. But uh, I, I can't even, yeah, man. But there it is. It's a show we actually did something. We'll put yeah. the footwork down. You know? Man, why the name? Why did y'all decide now so I get the money, man? Uh, For those man, that don't know. Really, fool. You know what? We're going to say it on camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Don Kennedy and OPM. Uh, okay. It actually started as West Side Get the Money. That's what it was. Uh, they had this whole little ordeal going. I mean, whatever. I don't know how to how to really like you yeah. know, like really explain that shit for them. You know what I mean? But uh, what's up? Oh, um, I, I can't explain it for them. But shit, for me, shopping on the North Side. Right. I mean, being a fan of what they had going on, I couldn't be screaming West Side. I'm not from the West. <laughs> I'm from Wall Street, that's why I threw up the dub, you know what I'm saying? And that's why the but, wolf of Wall Street is coming. Whoop, you know what I'm saying? That part. You know what I'm saying? But um shit, it's, it's the north side. I would like all of us to get some money. It's okay. Pretty much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, camaraderie. I feel it. Right together. So I ain't really tripping a while. What part you from me? Like, let's get some money, bro. I feel it. How do you feel about the north side music scene as of right now? Uh, from the people that I fuck with, like it's cool to me. Okay, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I, I, bro, I ain't running around kissing all ass. I said that on the last one. I'm not for suck no dick for it. I ain't for to do none of this white ass shit. People want you to do fool like you. You cool. You can. You can be you. Bro, be you fool and do what you do. Bro. You know what I'm saying? As long as they doing shit like that, then like that. Yeah, all that shit, crazy and we rocking. I feel that. Like, I feel that. The, the weird. Lift shit, I don't know. I, I ain't a part of it, so I can't even tell you what they crowd is like. I feel, <laughs> it, I feel it, I feel it. What's the difference between volume one and two? Mmm, growth. Okay. That would be one, you know what I'm okay. saying? Uh, volume one. Just kind of like in a different spot, uh, different things to talk about, because I haven't seen you do a little bit more since okay. the first one. You know what I'm I mean, they only like really a month apart, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit off. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You really dropped them back to back. Yeah. Why, why was it? I know that we're coming this month in September, too. It's not connected for it. It's not a part of the series, but I got something coming this month, too. Oh, okay. SoundCloud. Why was it important to drop those consistent like that? You didn't give it a break. You came back with part two right after part one. Because, I mean, I was fresh off the heels of like dropping the video, uh, no hood, the video for brand new. Fucking uh, splash, and it's like, okay, what you got? You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, all right, cool. He goes to the project, you know what I'm saying? And with, like, you asked, you know what I'm saying? What was the difference to me? Like, connect four by one, which is like, kind of me, kind of getting established. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, boom, this is me, here's what I do, this is my channel. Versus, you know, volume two, it's like, okay, y'all already know my channel, y'all know what I do. I'm just coming through, kind of like swagging on the shit now, nigga. Like, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm living in the house now, nigga. I didn't, you see me taking the fucking sign out the for sale sign. It was on the first one. Like, yeah, right here. See me unpacking. Now, nigga, I'm in my uniform for a barbecue on the second one. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, bro, it's Labor Day. Come get a beer, my nigga. We all here. Working on Labor Day, man. I feel it. I feel it. Man, shout out to the streets, know the YouTube, the Apple. The uh, IG, the Facebook, whatever you got, man. Let the streets know where they can find the whole brand. Um, Y'all got us online. Social media, I'm DJ Tona. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, fucking SoundCloud, I want to say. Uh, as far as like all streaming platforms, just J Tona, J Y T O N A. We can put that down here. Put, do you put that, the DJ Tona? Nah, you, I didn't put, uh, I should. Underscore inspire, beware. Yeah, beware. You know what I'm saying? Watch for the snakes in the grass. You feel me? She get ready to drop. Plug the IG one more time for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Janae inspire. Janae underscore inspire. Oh, you feel me? Yeah, fuck with her on that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, merch, she come through.